Well, Dan, so how did yesterday go? Apparently, you had some technical difficulties because this hose has been stretched out. This is day two, and it's early. Obviously, it was cold last night in sunny Florida. It dropped to about, what do you think, about 35, 40? It was pretty cold. It's actually cold right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're getting a fresh start. I never used material that thick before, so it was... Um, had a mind of its own. Okay, so we're gonna get a fresh start so we today. We stretched it all the way out. Now we're gonna be lining the roof with the the, uh, the hose to collect some sunlight. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Hey Dan, I got the plan. We're gonna spiral this hose on the ground first, and then you and I are both gonna put that up there instead of trying to make it work all in one shot. Sounds like a great idea. than my idea. <laughs> it did take two people this time around. It's a perfect project for two people. This hose, it, it, within 10 minutes, we were able to get it nicely. What we're going to do is take these flat pieces of wood and we're going to sandwich the, the material between it and lock them down so when we put it up there, everything we just did doesn't come undone. Okay, let's do it. nice and tidy when it's laying flat so if you have it on a roof where people can see it which we don't but it looks more attractive than having a bunch of crap up there okay. also anywhere that these overlap it blocks the sunlight mm. so you get a shade over the hose which you're not gonna have that much but the more sunlight you get to your hose the more hot water you're gonna get now we get to put this up there hopefully it goes good be careful because there's some <laughs> screws sticking out so you don't want to cut yourself. Okay. Look, instead of a ladder, couldn't we uh, work it up? Once the black tubing was in place, I removed all the wooden support straps. The black hose we picked up at a yard sale is three quarters of an inch in diameter and much more flexible. Working as a team, we got this one done in just under five minutes. Repeating the same process with the wooden straps, installation was a breeze. The next step was to connect the remaining tubing together into one long 300 foot section using the same method outlined earlier. At the cold water inlet, water flows through a 5 micron filter preventing large sediments from entering the hot water system. Starting at one corner of the carport, regular PVC is temporarily held in place with pipe ties. This will later be fastened with conduit holders. The regular PVC continues on part of the roof where it connects into the black tubing. Spiraled neatly, the black tape will be removed once water is added to weigh down the tubing. The heated water exits out the side of the carport closest to our house where the hot water is channeled through CPVC underground and into the cold inlet of our electric hot water heater. 
The extra spigot Denise was using as a shower earlier provides an outlet to drain the system for easy maintenance. It also provides instant access to solar only hot water. By 11 a.m. this system is already producing very warm water. Holding 11 gallons at any given time in the tubing, water is heated to 120 degrees Fahrenheit in about 30 minutes with good sunlight. After two hours, the temperature can reach well over 140 degrees. This same concept can be tailored to heat swimming pools, providing a do-it-yourself money-saving approach to warmer water. This system works great in warm to moderate climates. If you live in colder regions, you're going to need to add a heat exchanger to it and run glycol through the system to prevent freeze-overs. We'll be covering that concept in future episodes. With summer approaching, an inexpensive and easy to install system like this can provide you and your family with moderate amounts of free hot water, giving you a much needed break from your electric bill.